Day. Got Di out with me. And uh, what we're doing, we're hunting a, an old public footpath. Cuts through this woods and crosses over onto the old road on the other side. Got the uh, old council depot down there. Where they used to uh, run the road maintenance works from in my area. But with government cutbacks, it's uh, been closed down. And we've uh, come on to our first find, which is an old Dunlop glue. I think it's for bikes to uh, repair punctures. Not the greatest of finds, but shows us there's been people through here and there's a little bit of age. So hopefully we'll find some silver coins today probably. But we're out, we're getting some fresh air. So we're enjoying ourselves anyway. Right, let's hope we find something else. Catch you on the next YouTubers. Well, we're here on our next find. That's where we had the uh, Dunlop tube. We swung forward this far. And we have a musket ball. I don't know how many of these I've found. It's got to be in the hundreds. But it's an old find. So happy with that. Right, let's go see if we can find something else. Catch you on the next. Here we are on our next interesting find. It was uh, a double signal. Big piece of copper wire. Pulled that out. Still a good signal. Very scratchy like a coin. And it is an interesting find. Don't know what it is yet. But it's definitely got some shape to it. It's brass. So I don't know where that's from. We've had some other finds uh, in between the musket ball. And would you believe, they're all musket balls. But I'll show you them on a bit of a round up and, uh, when we get to the clearing. Right, let's go see if we can find something else. Catch you on the next YouTubers. Here we are on our next target. We're down about four inches. And we've got a little focus which says R. Edwards. It's got a hole in the top there. So I'm not sure what that would have been. We'll have our uh, round up shortly. Just want to get to the top of this bank. Right. I'll see if we find anything else. Well, here we are. We've reached the uh, top of that little bank. And we'll have a little mini round up. Uh, got a big piece of cast iron there. Copper wire. Bottle top. Tops of cans, piece of copper, couple of shotgun shells, bolt, uh, another bottle cap. We've got this, which has got glass in it. Possibly some sort of medical related thing. Bunch of foil. The biggest harmonica reed I've ever seen. Oh, look at that for beauty. This thing must be 8 inches long and it's still got a bit of the wood inside it. There's our uh, Dunlop, that fancy shape piece, the R. Edwards and all the musket balls. There's quite a few there. This is uh, one of my most common finds. Right, well, I'm going to have a fag, a bit of a drink, 
and uh, we'll get back into the hunt and hopefully we'll find something better and hopefully some silver as this is an old path right catch you on the next find well here we are on our next find youtubers that's where we had our round up just on the bank there and we swung down this uh, right hand side as we're coming down and we have this it's still in the clod let's break you out there's the imprint and we have silver it's a uh, 1939 sixpence. I don't know if you can make out the detail there. Now we're happy. That's silver number eight for the year. So Let's see if we can go find something else. Catch it on the next find. Hello again, YouTubers. Well, we're still where we got the silver sixpence. We ran, re scanned the hole, and we had another coin. So, a bit of a coin spill here. This one's uh, 1944, Thropney Bit. So great find. Right, let's go see if we can find something else then. Well, here we are. I think this is going to be our last signal now. I'm starting to get a bit hungry. It's getting towards dinner time. And we've just had another coin. I don't know if you can make it out. But it looks like it's got a 10 or something on this side and it's looking pretty toasted on that side we'll take it home so we can clean it up find out what it is and uh, I'll show you later on uh, either a still or video right I'm gonna swing on the way back so if I do find anything interesting I'm gonna turn the camera back on I've had a few more musket balls since, but I'm not going to show any more. They get a bit boring after a while. Right. If I don't find anything, I'll see you after tea, and we'll finish the end of the video. Here we are at home, YouTubers. We've done a little bit of cleaning on the, the coins and uh, this is our little wrap up these two pieces here are our unknowns but they've definitely got a purpose because of the shape here's our little tag that we got and you can make out the name R. Edwards so I'm not sure what this was from in total we got 29 musket balls A button. I'm not sure of the date on this, but it's a George the Fifth half penny, and we've got our 1944 three pence or three bit, which was in the same hole as this, which is a 1939 sixpence, which is a silver coin, and most unexpected was this one it's pretty toasted but in the right light I've made out there's an eagle and it's uh, 10 Reichsfennig from World War 2 
this was a very unexpected find. I never thought I'd find one of these. So I'm really made up with this hunt. I'm going to show uh, some stills so you get a better idea. Hopefully you'll make some better detail out on the Dijksvennig. Right, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for subscribing and uh, the support of my channel. And I want to wish you all good luck on your hunts in the future. Take care YouTubers. Catch you all soon.